During the meeting of the children of Sheikh Mirsanei with Ayatollah Shirazi, the Grand Ayatollah highlighted the important role of each follower of Ahlul Bayt in spreading the teachings of the true Islam. The Grand Juris counted the latest technologies and the open atmospheres created in recent decades as great tools for working and forwarding the cause of the true Islam. From its very onset, not only Islam did not restrict its message to any ethnicity or geographical border, but it encouraged all its believers and adherents to help promote the main cause of their religion, that is saving humanity from ignorance. In the long history of Islam, this cause has been upheld by the mass society of Muslim believers who practiced the true Islam through their good conduct and spoke its genie and teachings and beliefs to others. This unanimous effort by the Muslim populace and the inviting nature of Islam catalyzed the spread of this peaceful religion across the world, so that the steady rise of the number of the Muslims never witnessed a fall. Ayatollah Shuwazi, who was hosting the children of Gwaira scholar Hujjat al-Islam Mir Sana'i, encouraged and congratulated them for their great achievements in universities and academic fields. The Grand Ayatollah said that the believers shouldn't miss a chance in propagating the great culture of Ahlul Bayt and the true Islam, and that these believers should equip themselves with a true comprehension of Islam and tell the world about it via their special skills. Ayatollah Shuwazi added that we have this responsibility to let the world know about the true way and save them from the dangers ahead. The Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shuwazi also highlighted the great role of each Muslim believer, regardless of their occupations. In publishing the sublime culture of the Holy Prophet and his pure family, then Ayatollah Shuwazi indicated that the believer should preserve the two elements of good morals and sincere dedication in order to enable themselves for saving the great cause of Ahlul Bayt and save the humanity from the ignorance they struggle with. <laughs> Today, there are millions of people who downtread their God-given gifts and dignity and kneel before false gods, a tradition which was meant to be abolished 1400 years ago with the emergence of Islam.